Now, God put in my heart to pray for you, so I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray that whatever they're going through, that you see them through, that you give them your anointing, that you give them your assurance that you are there with them, going through with them, like you did for the like you did for the friends of Daniel, like you was with them through the fire. Lord, I pray that you be with them. I pray that you protect them. I pray that you keep them for whatever is attacking them right now, whatever is attacking them in their home, whatever is attacking them in the community, whatever is attacking them in their body, that you just send your spirit and begin to break those yokes and begin to break those seeds of bondage. Whoever is bothering them in the community, Lord, I pray that you put your hand in protection and just begin to shield them from the danger seen and unseen. <clears throat> Lord, I just pray that you just move over them, that you begin to stir up spiritual gifts within them, that you begin to let them know that you are their God and they are your people, that, Lord, you begin to just uh, cover them, Lord, cover their cover their minds, cover their spirit, cover their soul, cover their body, that you cover them with your cloud, with your anointing, with your power, with your precious gifts, Lord, that you begin to bless them in ways that they haven't seen. <clears throat> And I pray that you begin to bless their minds and you begin to bless their hearts. Lord, we pray that you begin to bless them and that you begin to bring things that signs and miracles and wonders that they've never seen before or that they've never heard before. And Lord, I just pray that you just begin to anoint them, begin to call them and appoint them, begin to fill them with your sweet spirit, begin to comfort them as they sleep, begin to stop the demons that, that are assigned, the people, demon people that's coming at them, begin to call them out on every hand, begin to call them out in every angle. Lord, begin to fight for them, Lord. Begin to comfort them with your hand. Put your hand upon them. Put your hand in every situation. Put your hand on their door. Put your anointing on it. And begin to protect them from danger seen and unseen. Begin to comfort them, Lord. Begin to watch, watch over them, Lord. Begin to keep them even on their job. No matter where they go, even on their trip. Even on their vacation, Lord, begin to keep them and begin to speak to their spirit, Lord. Burn in their heart and burn in their inmost being. Burn in their heart with your word and your laws and your statutes. Burn in their inmost being with your praises and with prayers. Lord, begin to let praises flow from their lips. Begin to let praises flow from their heart. Not only when you give them things, but even when you when things are going they going through something. Give them the praise. Give them holy praise. Give them holy prayers. That the power of the prayer may be effective and that it may move you to do and to act. And Lord, give them holy hands, Lord. Anoint their hands, Lord, and anoint their body. That they may be acceptable before you. That they may be able to be able to commune with you, be able to walk with you, be able to speak to you. Lord, begin to just touch them. Touch them right now, Lord. Touch them wherever they are. Begin to heal them of what diseases and infirmities. Begin to heal them of aches and pains. Begin to heal them of what they're going through. Lord, take away their fears and doubts. Take away their worries. Take away their misery. Whatever they're going through, Lord, begin to deliver them. Begin to set them free. Begin to strengthen them. Begin to encourage them. Lord, begin to build them up in your admiration begin to train them up and teach them on your ways begin to show them things that they haven't seen show them dangers show them warn give them warning signs give them things that prepare them for your work and prepare them for your will lord don't leave them like you said, don't leave them. Don't forsake them. Don't leave them. Don't forsake them. Don't leave them. Don't forsake them. Keep chastising them, Lord. Keep rebuking them in your love. Keep passing judgments that are for their good. Keep uh, using the affliction and infirmities to build them up. Keep strengthening them in your word. Keep building them up in your word, Lord. Keep speaking to them. Keep holding them. Keep uh, comforting them. Keep protecting them keep giving them joy lord I just pray that you be with them speak with them walk with them just begin to talk with them lord just begin to hold their hands to the situation just begin to move all over them lord begin to strengthen them begin to encourage them lord lord we actually just speak to them or speak to them and let them hear by faith give them faith love and hope and lord just be their god and let them be your people just be their god lord and let them be your people 
Just be their God, Lord, and let them be your people. Just be their God, Lord, and let them be your people. Just be their God, Lord, and let them be your people. Just be their God, Lord, and let them be your people. In Jesus' name, amen.